what happened to all that USDC that was minted on Algo, and we're going to look at Tiny Man adding a new feature, WeCoop adding, also adding a new feature, plus we're going to dive into actually what that is because we haven't talked about that yet, Aura adding a desktop miner, the Foundation talking node staking on their second season of their podcast, plus we're going to, there's some new info about how that's going to work, so we're going to look into that, and we're going to get into that USDC news, so stay tuned for the whole show on today's Frugal BC. By the way, guys, if you like this kind of stuff, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Remember, you don't have to smash it. You just press it gently. It works just fine that way, too. Uh, by the way, also, we have channel memberships for only a dollar. So if you want to join our join our community, uh, it only costs you one dollar a month and it helps support the channel, helps grow the channel. And uh, you can get videos before anyone else, including this one. Members got this one before anyone else. So check that out actually in the community tab on the main page. I should put something in the description, too. Yeah, we'll say it's in there. And we are brought to you by Non-Fungible Domains. If you want that .algo address that makes using Algorand so much easier, uh, mine's frugalbc.algo, and I can punch that in anywhere versus trying to remember LV3, whatever. <laughs> remember the rest. So check that out, Non-Fungible Domains. They got vaults and segments. Check them out in the description. But let's get to today's show. We're going to start off with Tiny Man adding a brand new feature. Um, it's going to take you, it's going to make use of the tiny token. Let's, uh, let's take a quick look at this. This is straight from tiny man themselves. Exciting times ahead. We're cooking up a game changing feature with tiny at the heart of it, more utility, bigger rewards, and even more wins for tiny holders. Can you guess what this new next feature will leverage how this next new feature will leverage tiny stay tuned. So we got something coming up, uh, keeping out back. Maybe they have something new. Oh, nope. The latest one looks like the latest one we got is cycle Four tiny farms are launched tomorrow. By the way, they tend to be launching these every once a month now. So not quarterly. So go make sure you check out these, these out and that you're, um, taking your, taking your wins from your previous ones. And then also locking into the new ones. Cause if you don't farm them, you don't get them. So just a quick PSA to keep in mind that in mind, uh, very curious what this new, they haven't announced what this new feature is yet but it will use the tiny token we're going to keep an eye out for that uh so watch out and uh yeah if you uh, you also if you missed the tiny airdrop you're sol now i've been talking about it on the channel for a while so uh now it sounds like that's going to be given out as rewards to people who are currently staking so keep an eye out for that uh, very curious what that is. We will keep an eye out for that, but let's get to the next thing. And that is WeCoop adding a new feature, but I also wanted to take that as an excuse to actually look at WeCoop and kind of dive into what it is. So WeCoop is like sort of like a Twitter type platform that runs on Algorand. I believe you have to pay a little bit to post. We'll, we'll get into that, but uh, let's look at the news first here. And this comes right from the Crest Network, which I believe is the maker of WeCoop. Exciting times at WeCoop. Their new feature enables users to post directly on a centralized, decentralized Algorand-powered social feed, integrating IPFS and Crust Network for secure, cost-effective storage. So more of a partner, actually. I should correct myself there. Uh, we're thrilled to see the innovation in action, but can't wait to see what the community shares keep building. So yeah, uh, Algorand-powered social feed is basically what it is. But more importantly, like, what is this thing? Let's just go to uh, WeCoop itself. Uh, building uh, building decentralized social experiences on Algorand. WeCoop polls live now. And uh, let's see what it's going to show us here. Yeah, so this is kind of what it looks like. And so Fred Astante, actually here's Fred Astante. He's like one of the top creators on it. He was, uh, so, so Fred is in Brazil. And as you might know, X is banned or was banned in Brazil for a while. So, so you had Fred Astante was posting a lot of his news. He's from the Algorand Foundation. He was posting a lot of his news to here instead, but now he's back on. And yeah, polls feed, global feed, coin feed. You got some options here. Oh, here's Scotty. Uh, I follow Scotty on Twitter. It's a jiu-jitsu guy like I was, I guess. <laughs> I still plan to go back and do a couple rolls, but yeah, so this is kind of what it looks like. Um, seems kind of cool. I don't know if you have to, but I might sign up for it at some point. You can connect your wallet up here. Um, you know, I don't really know about like how well it works, but um, yeah, I think this is kind of neat. Here you can post, you can post. Uh, looks like you can do post in a lot of different coins. Not Algorand itself, but Coop A200. XUSD, Jaws, Aura, Nika, Nico, sorry, Akita, and Tiny Man. So yeah, kind of interesting stuff. Um, yeah, I might have to give it a spin. I'm kind of like not really looking for a new social media feed right now. I've got plenty to keep up with. So 
But yeah, I should probably take it for a test drive at some point. And uh, yeah, speaking of interesting things on the desktop, uh, Aura, which you might know about Aura, the oranges thing where it's, uh, well, they're adding a desktop miner. Now Aura, we kind of previewed this in actually, uh, I believe New Year's Eve last year, it went live and we live streamed it. Or basically you feed Algorand into it and it uses transactions to mine Aura. And then it's gonna kind of work like Bitcoin where every so often there's a halving. I believe there was one recently. Well, let's look at this for a second first. Just get into the news here, right? Uh, this is shared by BitShift Mod. Uh, Orange desktop app, 0.30 new Linux desktop app build. Tested on Ubuntu, but you can, Ubuntu, Ubuntu, Ubuntu. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, yeah, so you have this little desktop app where you can um, start mining, do some, do some aura, get some, or do some, do some transactions to get some aura. I did one like right away, and I spent like way too much Algorand just to try it out on the stream, and they ended up being costing way less than yeah, like current effort half an Algorand. It was like sixty four Algorand or something that I spent on it. Um, this person asked, does this mean I can mine it without any fee? Well, there are no additional fees really, just algos for mining. So I think that's kind of interesting. I think that's cool. Um, and Aura, Aura was an interesting project. So it's adding transactions to the network, but also using that to mine this coin. Uh, I think it's kind of interesting. I should play around with it a little more maybe. It's kind of, it is interesting now. And I think the having is, oh, yeah. So this is the main thing here. Uh, yeah, recent effort per Aura, it's about one and a half algo per aura so you can connect your wallet and you can just start mining so but i thought there was somewhere where they would say oh days to having yeah so there's about 10 days to having so um that's should theoretically drive up the price so it might be interesting to play around with that um so keep an eye out for that now the foundation has recently talked about how node incentivization is going to work and no longer going to be called node incentivization they are using the term staking rewards which might be a little confusing because people ask, I can see why they would do it because people today ask me about staking rewards. And this is technically going to be staking rewards and it kind of makes sense to call it that. But it might be confusing because people think, people might go back and think of a time where you could just hold Algorand in your wallet and stake it that way. Um, it'll take 30,000 to actually run a node, but there will be pools, my understanding. So let's take a look at this video and uh, we'll see what we'll see what they say side gearing up for um, consensus incentives which are going to be um, a really really important I think uh, change uh, to the protocol also so, known as staking rewards right sorry sorry they, I, let me start again we're gearing <laughs> up for, for staking rewards and of course you know Mark is right we have to use consistent uh, terminology because otherwise we're going to confuse people um, and so staking rewards are of course the notion that you will get uh, uh, a reward in algo for producing a, a block or minting a block on the on the algorand network and we are calling it staking rewards and not consensus incentives so that's consensus incentives word is out the door staking rewards is what we're going live with and that's what we'll be speaking about in our press releases and um we're targeting uh some alpha here i can i can uh, share we're targeting december week one for go live uh in mainnet where people will be able to turn on their computers um and get going Frankly, I think it always, I think it always should have been. I, I think this is actually fixing a, a major error because I, people just aren't going to run nodes for no. I mean, some people did, some people did, but most people aren't going to run nodes unless they're getting some rewards for it. And frankly, I think I, so many people are asking like, what happened to staking or why can't I just stake? Um, they didn't really talk about the LPs. They want to get into that later, but um, that part I'm really interested in too because John has talked about that as well. So you won't have to necessarily run a node yourself although i might look into it i might look into it if they're going to happen in december i want to see some some of what happens i might take my lps and break those down and put everything into algorand node incentives instead sorry staking rewards sorry don't come after me john <laughs> and by the way when are you guys coming on the show come on i've reached out like three or four times Anyway, <laughs> I'm being a smarty now. Okay, let's go through our last story. So give me one second. And our last one is what happened to this disappearing USDC on both Algorand and Near Protocol? Let's take a look here. Yeah, so over half the half the USDC supply on Algorand and Near got redeemed or moved to other chains this week, including 94.7 million in Near from Near Protocol and 44.8 million for usdc that is wild can we just call it re pre-redeemed i don't know what that means people are asking about tracing i wonder if they heard of hedera 
Well, Hedera's got problems too with the whole TPS thing. I mean, apparently all their T almost all their TPS was from one governing council member. And I think that's, I don't know, if, I don't know how transparent they were about that. I hadn't heard of it, but that doesn't necessarily mean they didn't put it out somewhere. A lot of people making comments. Someone in my on my post said, this is really funny. Well, this one said, supposedly that was Binance Reserve stacking USDC on Algorand. Not sure about near, and they've removed it now for reasons, TBD. Um, but MGM says Dems needed all the USDC to move those betting odds on Poly Maker. It's actually Poly Market. Last Hail Mary. <laughs> Yeah, apparently there are all, all these Dems that hate crypto or holding USDC on Algorand. Yeah, I think that's kind of funny. Um, okay, dude, I kind of doubt it, but and, and that's not you know making a political statement anyway. I just think that's the silly comments I get are funny. So, all right, well that's some really interesting stuff. We're gonna keep be keeping an eye on that in the future to find out more about that. But uh, good news about Algorand staking. I am definitely curious to see how that plays out and just if that's going live december 1st i'm going to be watching and uh yeah maybe i'll be doing a little node running myself if i can so keep an eye out for that otherwise uh i'm frugal bc you know stay safe out there guys let me know what you think about the news this week or anything else you think i should cover um be doing stuff i'm hoping to do i'm going to do a helium mobile review to, again tomorrow i think it's been about four or five months almost six months since i got it um, some things to talk about there, definitely. So otherwise, uh, stay safe out there. Uh, like I said, be, be patient. Like this Bitcoin thing is going to be popping off really, really soon. And otherwise, I'm Frugal BC. Stay safe and I'll see you in the future.